Hi guys, nice having you again here on Will EduTech. Now in this video we'll be looking at the solution to question 10b, a typical measurement, geometry and trigonometry question taken from your CSEC math exam past paper, January 2012. Now in the question it states, the diagram below not drawn to scale shows a vertical pole PL standing on a horizontal plane, KLM. The, the angle of elevation of P from K is 28 degrees. KL is equal to 15 meters and LM is equal to 19 meters and the angle KLM is equal to 15 degrees. Now just let's look at what the information is saying based on the diagram, the information that was given. So let's just pull this up quickly and get into it. Okay, that should be good enough. Now basically what they're saying here my friends, if you notice, uh, they gave us the vertical pole PL and this vertical pole here where I'm running my pointer along, uh, P to L. All right, let's identify that. Another piece of information that they gave us is they, they, they said that the horizontal plane KLM. Okay, now horizontal plane, another word, another phrase we could use for horizontal plane is a flat surface. Okay, so horizontal horizontal plane is the same as a flat, flat surface, flat surface. Let's just quickly get that out the way. Now, basically what they mean by the horizontal plane, KLM, if you notice the base area at the bottom here, and I'm just going to color that in purple, this area here that I'm coloring in purple, the base, that's our horizontal plane. Now this is regarded or this is called a flat surface based on the diagram. If you notice, this is an isometric diagram. This is an isometric shape, a three-dimensional shape, because essentially what this, this kind of question is a is trigonometry in 3D, three-dimensional. All right. Now uh, they have given us other pieces of information. They stated that the angle of elevation of P from K is 28 degrees. So basically what they're saying, the angle of elevation, which is this angle here. If you notice, I'm just marking the angle with my pointer here. Okay. So this angle, let me just change the color and mark it in blue. This angle here would be 28. 28 degrees okay my friends that's the angle of elevation because they said it was from the point K and they said from K that's a very important note so that it should be located at K and if you notice it's at the point K now let's go through they said that KL is equal to 15 meters so the distance K to L is 15 15 meters and we could just quickly make a note of that KL is 15 let's just jot it down right there 15 meters and LM L to M is 19 meters so the distance from L here to M is 19 meters okay so and they have given us the angle KLM which is well if you look at the base the horizontal the flat surface here the horizontal plane if you notice the angle at the top there in the corner where where the vertical pole is at the point L, we would have our angle 115 degrees. Now, having identified all that information, they're asking us now part one to copy the diagram, show the angle of elevation 28 degrees and one right angle. And that's an easy two marks. So let's just quickly get into that. But before I even get into that, guys, um, th this is, as I've said before, this is a three dimensional drawing. and pretty much if, if, if you're asked to copy the information and sh copy the diagram to show these information, I just wanted to make a general connection first. Um, let's say you're in a room, maybe you're not in a room watching this video presently, you may be watching it on your iPod or your smartphones, however, but if you're in a room, just look to a corner of a room where, where two vertical walls meet, okay my friends? So for example, here I'm going to sketch my floor. So this flat surface here that I'm sketching here, this would be my floor. Okay, so this would this flat surface would represent my floor. And I'm just going to draw a section of the room. Okay, so that's my my floor. Now basically what's happening now, um, this is my floor, this flat surface here, and let me shade it in white since I drew it in white. That's my flooring. Okay, that's the flooring of my of my building. Now basically what is happening my friends, if you notice the vertical wall, your vertical walls would meet the, these now, the, these walls that I'm drawing, oops that's ugly, 
let's just get it a little bit better than that okay that's a little bit better okay so these are my vertical walls in my floor now if you notice and let me just let me just put in a few windows just to sh suggest that this is a wall okay so this is one window and on this side of the wall I would have another wall coming down there and then that would be another window let me just drop another window over here this one is a little bit bigger okay so let's just let's just put in a little design now this is it my friends now if you notice on my floor here and we can just write it in quickly this would be my floor so F L O O R that's my floor and these two pieces this would be my wall this is a wall that's a wall and this is another wall okay now if you notice my friends what is happening the vertical walls meet your floor and if you should look in the room where you're at in a corner okay the vertical wall would meet the floor at an angle of 90 degrees and if you notice this would be a right angle and also let me change the color let me change and this would let me use this blue this would be another right angle okay my friends so here we would have two right angles wherever the vertical wall meets a horizontal floor or a level or a flat surface we would have a right angles being formed now having said that we can just simply go ahead and copy the diagram hopefully you would have gotten that intuition or that idea all right so let's just quickly get this now my friends here is our diagram that we have copied and complete and if you notice based on the information that they said we were, sh were we were supposed to show on our diagrams is the angle of elevation which is 28 degrees here we have shown it there and they asked us to show one right angles well in our diagram here that we used to explain the idea we had identified two right angles just just for the whole idea of what is happening but since they asked us for one right angle then here is our one right angle or angle KLP now having gone through all of that having completed that let's move on on to part two where they're asking us to calculate given given your answer to two significant figures the measure of a P L and that's another easy two marks now here my friends they're asking us to find the distance P L and I'm just going to put a question sign right there P L so this distance here looking at the original diagram my friends here this distance here they're asking us to find P L so basically if you notice what is happening since we had identified that we have a right angle here okay in our diagram across here now if you notice the triangle if you look at the triangle k and let me use my pointer k l p you'd real you would have realized that that's a right angle triangle so basically we could just simply take out that triangle okay guys so let's just take out the triangle let's just cut it out now so this is my triangle and let me just do a quick sketch here this is my triangle my triangle and it's a right angle triangle so I'm going to put in the right angle that is located at the point L so this would be my right angle and remember it's located at the point L so right there I have my right angle then I would have a K here and my P would be up top okay so this is the distance they're asking us to find okay and I've just labeled it X and let me circle that that's a distance now they have they had given us the angle which is 28 degrees the angle of elevation okay and they also if you should look carefully at the information which I'm underlining above the diagram now they said that KL is equal to 15 meters and I've put it there before so the distance K to L is 15 meters rather 15 meters okay my friends so basically what is happening here if you should notice we're given where we have a right angle triangle here we were given an angle which is 28 degrees and we are also given a side which is 15 meters okay and we're asked to find the side that is across from if you notice the side PL that they're asking us to find which I labeled X they're asking us to find the side that is across from the angle okay and if, uh, I won't hopefully you can see that color red that arrow it's across from the angle now basically 
in a right angle triangle when given an angle and a side and you're asked to find another side basically my friends um you can use the trig ratios to find the missing side so basically what you do you'd stand always stand at the angle that is given okay in a right angle triangle when using trig ratios you are never positioned at the right angle so please make a note of that you are never positioned at the right angle so i'll put an x there to say that you will never position yourself there you're always positioned off at one of the two acute angles so since they gave us the angle 28 degrees i'm going to position myself if you notice i drew a little man there now basically what i'm saying all the sides the side that was given this KL 15 meters and the side that they're asking us to find PL I am asking myself now what relationship do those sides have with the angle that I'm presently standing now if you notice KL is right beside the angle if you notice it's just next to the angle it helps to form the angle okay so if the side is beside the angle we we, we call that side the adjacent so basically let me change the color so basically the side KL would be called the adjacent the side KL would be called the adjacent okay and I put ADJ for short now I'm going to ask myself the side that they're asking us to find now PL and let me change the color the side PL my friends the side PL that they're asking us to find what is it in relation to the angle that was given if you notice it's across from and if it's across you would call that the opposite it's on the opposite side of the triangle okay so I put OPP for short so basically what you're saying I have the adjacent which is KL and they are asking me to find the opposite which is PL now what trig ratio would jump out at you well we know that and you could do a quick revision on that on the trig ratios if you're not clear on them okay we soon have we will soon put up a playlist on that so basically opposite and adjacent is really tan theta okay is equal to the opposite so the trig ratio tan is opposite over adjacent so that's how you would figure out which trig ratio to, to use you always position yourself at the angle and then based on the side that they gave you and the side that they're asking you to find you would just establish the relationship and to see which trig ratio relates to that scenario okay now let's just quickly substitute values here they gave us the angle so theta is 28 degrees so I can simply say tan theta now it's 28 degrees that's the angle the opposite we don't know if you notice I labeled it X so I can say X over 15 because KL is 15 degrees and KL is my adjacent okay so I can say simply 15 degrees now to transpose basically if you notice meaning I want to make X the subject so I'm going to leave X on one side of the equation and take everything else to the next so since 15 is dividing this side I must multiply Fly through by 15 what I do to one side I must also do it to the other side of my equation so I'm going to have to multiply this side also by 15 now 15 will cancel 15 so basically what this is a 15 okay my friends so basically what I'm left with on this side is X and I can just turn that around it's an equation it doesn't matter which side the X is on so I can say 15 is being 15 is equal to sorry x is equal to 15 times the tan of 28 okay let's just pull this up a bit so we can have a little bit more space so my friends we could just simply find the tan of 28 on some calculators you can just press the tan button and then press 28 equal sign and it would give you the decimal or on other calculators you may have to press the 28 first and then tan so it depends on the type of calculator you're working with okay so basically X is equal to on my calculator um, I am saying 15 and on my calculator tan 28 is the same as 0 0.5 three one seven one and if you notice I've used five decimal places because this is not my final answer okay so you don't want to run off to two or one DP to it it, may, it will or it may mess up mess up your final answer rather okay my friends so basically before I reach my final answer I'm working with up to 5 DP now 15 times 0 0.53171 is equal to 
and that is equal to 7 point and let me just make a note here first x is equal to 7 when I multiply 15 times my decimal here I get 7.97 okay 75 now if you notice they answered they they gave us in the instructions rather that we should write our answers to two significant figures so basically what this is simply saying my friends I am going to start when it asks to write a number to sig in significant figures you're counting from the first non-zero digit so basically this would be my first significant figure that's my first so the nine would be my second significant figure okay now basically what is happening here now if you notice x is equal to since this is the first this is my second I am going to position myself at the second sig fig which is the 9 here and I'm looking to my right and if you notice a 7 follows the 9 so if this number if this digit that follows the 9 is 5 or more then I have to add 1 to the value or to the digit that is here so since this is 7 I'm going to have add I'm going to have to add 1 to 9 when I add 1 to 9 that is going to become 10 so basically I will have 10 so I'm going to have to leave a 0 there okay and then put a decimal point and then the one I'll have to take it over to the 7 so 7 plus 1 that would give me a 8 okay my friends Now, my friends, since we have found the value for x, which is 8 meters, now, if you remember, they had asked us to calculate the value of PL, and PL was the vertical, was our vertical pole, okay? So, therefore, we're simply just going to make our statement that, therefore, and these three dots mean, therefore, PL is equal to 8 meters okay because that's what they asked us to find pl now and we can you, just to, just to show you what is happening pl was the vertical height so for example now we know this height to be eight meters okay so we just put it there all right that's it thanks for watching see you in the next video where we'll be calculating uh, part b which is km and we'll be finding the angle of elevation of p from l bye bye